What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 17 of our Pokemon Black and White Soul Link Challenge with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Alright Dylan, it has been a minute since we recorded. Um, okay. I know for a fact that we have a gym battle coming up next. So let's give the people a quick team recap before we get started. Mm-hmm. -hmm. All right, up first on my squad, we got the one, the only, Chloe. You know what she is. Ice Fang, take down, retaliate, and crunch. Linked with Chloe, the Stoutland is Plugs, the Electabuzz with that static ability, rocking out with the moves, Shockwave, Quick Attack, Electro Ball, and Low Kick. Up next, we have my boy, the champ, Cena, the Machop. Just the, kidding, the Machamp like, with Vital what? Throws and Headbutt, Seismic Toss and Revenge. And next up we got the Hasty Natured OG, the OG Mew. Pure Psychic type, holding that scope lens with the synchronized ability, rocking on the moves, Psychic, Shadow Claw, Mega Punch, and Reflect type. Last but not least, we have the newest member of our squad, Morning Star, the Pharaoh Seed with Curse, Metal Claw, Iron Defense, and Gyro Ball. And linked with him is Galler, Galler, the, uh, the, uh, Clang, I believe he is a Clang, yeah, holding that Eviolite with the really booty plus ability, rocking out with the moves, Charge Beam, Gear Grind, Charge, and a Tata Vice. Right on. All right, Dylan, dude, all right, let's, let's, before, we're, we're, we're going to the gym, we both know this. Um, I just got diggity darn done. I went to watch Let's Go P or not Let's Go Pikachu, Jesus. <laughs> I went to go watch the brand new Detective Pikachu movie, and let me tell you, let me, let tell, me ya. tell you, that movie, that movie was freaking awesome. It was a good time. What did you think of it? Uh, I you know I I. For the first time in a while, I went into that movie, like, with kind of low expectations. Um, and I think that really helped because I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I, I, I really thought that it would not feel like a Pokemon movie, but it actually really did. Um, just with, right off the bat, like, with the whole, you know, no spoilers or nothing, but, like, right off the bat with the whole, like, Machop scene, I thought that really, like, mm -hmm. set the mood really well. Oh, shoot. And that made the movie just, like, really good for me all the way through. Yeah. Did you make it to the gym? No, I was checking my medication uh, situation beforehand. We got a little cut, cut going on right now. Okie doke. I'll be there in a sec. Uh, oh, we do. All right. I remember how I voiced against this. I remember how I did it, but I got to... Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Getsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates. Who are you in who are in your care? <laughs> I don't need no no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems as if there's has been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice and all, if it's true. I may not talk pretty, <laughs> but at least you have a pretty mouth. No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm an honest man. <laughs> you talk real nice, but what you're saying kind of sounds like lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? Dude, there, we need some old Wild West. Doo -doo -doo, yeah. doo -doo. It's like a... Team Plasma. Yeah, yeah, like an old West <laughs> showdown. Oh, yeah, gunfight. Team Plasma also has an interest in Drift Vale City. And we have many, many more members besides those who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you won this without a fight. Hmm, fine. T 
Take him and get it. A decision worthy of a businessman called the Minor King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we will be taking our colleagues off your hands. Now draw, yellow belly. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I get this. Thank you very much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. Who are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll meet again somewhere, I'm sure. Sorry to let Team Plasma go after you tracked him down, fellas. Say, why don't you clear, why don't you cheer yourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. Coming for your soul, Clay. <laughs> well, we avoided a fight in the middle of the city anyway. I still can't help but think Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I think he's an alien. <laughs> I'm off to go make a Pokemon, <laughs> my Pokemon stronger. I, do, I really don't want to lose that to that clay guy, you know. Actually, uh, I'm going to win my gym badge in a flawless victory. Flawless victory, fatality. Total annihilation. <laughs> Remember Bay Ballad? Did you? Did, how how far are you into the uh, Mortal Kombat realm? Yo, I don't really play Mortal Kombat. Not gonna lie. I. I was interested with the whole, they added, like, horror movie icons like Freddy, Michael Myers, Jason, Alien, Predator. Um, now they have the Texas Chainsaw Man massacre guy. Yeah. Um, so that was, I thought that was really interesting. Um, but, uh, like, I'm not really into, like, the super fighty games anymore. Like, cause all it is is, like, straight up button mashing. Yeah, my favorite, like, it's not even really a fighting game, so I can't really call it that, but one of my favorite, like, combat games right now is still and has been for a long time now For Honor. Like, it's nice and different, and you actually have to be good at the game, because if you just jump into that game, you're going to get wrecked every time. Like, that's the thing, is, like, I have a buddy who's really, really good at playing fighting games and button mashers, and, like, you could sit and play that game for hours and for days and, and have all this experience. He could pick it up for the first time and destroy you with ease. But in For Honor, if I've been playing the game for years and someone new tries to come at me, please, you ain't going to touch me. So, because you cannot spam. If you if you try to just all-out attack in For Honor, you are going to get blown back so hard. All right, I went to go get some heals. Now I'm going back into the gym, boy. All right. I'm yeah, dude, I really need to scoop up some For Honor, man. Yeah, you really do, cause like we play that we play that business a lot, and Ooh. we don't always have a full squad of four. It's usually just me, Dustin, and Robert. So you could hop in there, you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't even get a chance to switch my team out. All right, well I'm battling the first trainer. Let's see what happens, eh? Good luck. I'm looking. I'm Whole looking. team gets bodied. Oh my God, Dylan, it's over. Not a Kakuna. Ah! It's a cocoon! Dude, we are so overleveled, it's ridiculous, dude. I mean, I'm not super wish... overleveled. This gold bat's level 27, I'm level 32, so. Honestly, though, we only had two Pokemon the entire game. Oh, I know. There's not. There's really no way around it, but, you know, it's how it goes. Ooh, I got a boost. I got a special attack boost from that charge beam, baby. Did you get an Azelf on Pokemon Go? I did, actually. I'm so jealous. Me and, and the lady, we never get a chance to do, like, really good raids because there's no one ever there. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Oh, mine has a Kakuna, we... too. What? We do our best. Mine has a Kakuna, too, Mike. One of us. Um, yeah, you know, I have that one special, that really good spot that we go to all the time, and and there's, whenever, a, if you're there at the beginning when the raid first starts, you usually get a full, like, lobby of, like, 15 to 20 people. Really? Yeah, almost every time. Um, but if you show up, like, after the raid's been going for, like, 10 or 15 minutes, you might get a couple of stragglers, you know, one or two extra people that show up, but we've got a big group, like, it's... You know, it's me and Nonsense Nerd and Johnson Gamers and Bro and and uh, and then we got Big Sexy 
and his two roommates. Like, we get a pretty big group going, just like group of us. Like, and y'all just do that like one whole day. Well, not usually. In all. I mean, it depends on the day. If the usually on the weekends when there are more raids and stuff going on, they come to Minot, and uh, and we go to like movies or go out to eat or whatever. Well, before and after, we we always run around and take some gyms and stuff and do some raids and whatever else. So. Right. That's what's up. Switching out in the Cena against this ghost type Bonnet. See what happens. Mm. Mega Bonnet. What? <laughs> oh, so, you had me for like a half second. I was like, what? How does that even happen? Um. Are you down so, for yeah. battling all the trainers in this gym, or do you want to just go straight to Clay? We have the time. Um, Ooh, effects so I piece. still need to figure out how to fix my rejuvenation, man. Like I was getting back into that game, dude, and then it just, that game is so hard, dude, so hard. Yeah. I just don't know how to fix it, man. Dang that! I I literally almost had another one of those moments, Mike, where I literally almost lost my um. I almost lost Clang against a Paris. <laughs> you don't want to lose a Clang against the Paris. No, you really don't. Oh, shoot. shoot. I was not ready for that battle. He's got a Magby. That's really bad for my Clang. Did you see? I seen that you had a uh, Ellie kid. Uh, what do you mean? As your partner. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm real close to Electivire. So, it's happening. Nice. Dude. Oh, I see. He's gonna confuse Ray and smoke screen me. That's your strat, dude. Come on. Oh, they're wrecking house sure. on me right now, Mike. They're wrecking house on me. Okay, shockwave. Don't hurt yourself. There we go. And you landed it because shockwave never misses, boo. Nine tails, dude. I don't have anything for fire types, man. This sucks. You don't have nothing for fire types? I have a steel type, an electric type, and then a Mew. <laughs> so. Mew is pretty much, even... pretty much for anything and everything, but... We don't have a fire type across either one of our teams, so... What the heck did you do to... Hmm. Do to what? I know, I do not know what you're talking about, Willis. Never mind. I think I figured it out. I figured it out. That second part to get to that next group of trainers was confusing me for some reason. Oh. Had me going for a minute. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Oh, what are the man. chances this thing explodes? Shadow Claw Mew is busted. Ugh. Psychic on this guy. Choke it What'd you think about that that Pokemon battle, dude? Oh, okay, so you, you'll know exactly what part of the story I'm talking about in uh, Detective Pikachu. Okay. Um, So, like, when they're in the woods, right? Okay. And, like, the ground starts coming out from underneath yeah, them. Yeah, that... The first thing I thought of, Gigas, Reggie Gigas. <laughs> yeah, I think that would have been a little out there for the general Pokemon fan. Um... I knew, ex I knew exactly what it was as soon as it started after, because they, they kind of, you know, foreshadowed it a bit when they showed the, you know, whatever. They showed, yeah, they you're showed right. them when they were small, and they are like, oh, they don't look that big. They don't look any different yeah. than a normal one. And then, yeah. Did like, you think those those ones that they were saying was normal looked really small? Uh, I don't know. For, I mean, for what they were? That's kind of what I would have figured one would look like, size-wise. Oh, well, I just remember the anime, Ash, dude. The thing was huge. Yeah, but, I mean, Ash was a 10-year-old kid, too. That's true. I would totally watch another, like, another... Oh, and the girl that was in it, dude, she's in Supernatural, bro. Yeah, I, I know. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that right away, too. She plays Castiel's daughter. Yeah. I was like, that's awesome. And I heard Supernatural's on its last season now. Yeah, thank God. What is it? Season yeah, it's 15? been one of 15 years, man. Ugh. You still watch the show? Yeah, I quit watching it for a really long time. I just recently got back into it. 
Um, not like back into it, but I d decided to try to pick it up again so I could at least finish out. Because I had watched the first like nine seasons of it or whatever, and then I stopped because I just season eight and nine were kind of a blur. I kind of lost interest in the middle of all that. So then right. once uh yeah, then I got back, got myself back into it just to finish it out, and I'm now like halfway through season eleven, and it's going all right, I guess. What is the most recent thing that's happened? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any of, like, season 14 or 15 or none of that. Oh. Like, I'm in season 11 right now, and that's all new to me. Like, I haven't watched any of that before, so. Gotcha. But now Game of Thrones is on their final season, too. Dude. I think all these shows that are going to be gone that, that's, like, everybody's been watching for the last 10-plus years. And, like, I thought The Walking Dead was going to be ending soon, but the way that they've been doing that, it's kind of opened up to keep on keeping on, man. Yeah, what'd they do? Add another... Well... Like, oh. I don't think I have to worry about spoilers. I don't think anyone that watches me is going to care about The Walking Dead. But um, they killed off Rick Grimes, quote-unquote. He didn't really die, though. They He, like, almost died and was saved by some strangers in a helicopter. Well, Carl's dead, that's all I... Yeah, Carl you know. actually died, which I'm fine with, because his character annoyed me. <laughs> nice. Um, are you ready for the gym battle yet? Because I'm, like, literally... No, dude, right here I'm in a freaking maze, bud. I'm in a damn maze. Man, you suck at this. Let me tell you how to do it. Oh, I figured it out. I don't think you did, yeah. You gotta go to that girl and then go straight down. It's the final countdown. Let's see, um, would it be fair for me to open up with the OG? <laughs> and what, Oko? And just obliterate everybody and everything? I think at that point you just win. Well, right now the OG is my lowest level Pokemon, so... Because Electabuzz is level 36, Galar is level 33, and the OG Mew is level 32. Oh my god, this Mewtwo just hit a Psychic on Cena. I'm watching your game right now, and I'm just it's a quillfish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I was like, if you left in, uh, if you left in a Machamp against a Mewtwo, you deserve to lose the Machamp. <laughs> now, do I deserve to lose the Mew? Absolutely not. But, <laughs> dude, this is a deep hole right there. It is. Yeah, like it makes it, it rises up a bunch of questions, and I just I can't even think about them right now. So, this makes Gen 4's mind guy look look like trash right yeah dude he look at all the look at all the diamonds and uh emeralds it this looks like guy, he's he's, he really is doug dimmadome isn't he <laughs> doug dimmadome homer dimmadome, dimmadome he owns dimsdale he owns it literally owns the town and the dimmadome all right let's just do it boys okay you ready man yeah to lose <laughs> i'm already talking to him well I think it's about time to see for yourself what it is about your skills that made a gym leader like Elisa take such a shine to you. All right. Ooh. All right. All right. Marlin. All right, Scott. All right, Scott. All right, Marlin. Coming for your soul, boy. Lazy Marlin. <laughs> Yon a Mega. Finion. Well, I got a crappy little Finion, so that's cool. I destroy this thing. I need me a Yon Megan Pokemon Pokemon Go. I have a Yon Megan Pokemon Go. Do you really? I do. Dude, can you believe this level twenty eight Finneon just lived a a stab psychic from a Mew? I I cannot. Like that's kind of blew my mind a little bit. I'm four levels above him and I'm a Mew, and I hit him with psychic and it didn't do it. It barely gets him to the red. What is that? I mean, sure, I'm drawing out all of his hyper potions right now, which is fine, but... Oh, he got the special defense drop. You done, boy. Water pulse? Come on. You ain't got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Nidoran female. Good lord. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this Raticate is, is coming out. This is just pathetic now. Is it a is it a is it a Alolan Raticate? 
I don't think so. Oh, it's a Rattata, so. even worse. But you would absolutely destroy an Alolan Raticate with that thing. Oh, quick call pops. Quick <laughs> claw pops. <laughs> For oh, it. it didn't even. So my three Pokemon, Mike. The three Pokemon I had to fight was a Finneon, a, a female Nidoran, and a Furret. Mine was a Yanmega, a Rattata, and now a Fortress. You got way cooler Pokemon than I did. I did. I just obliterated Giving up is this easy way out if you wanted to something. He didn't finish. <laughs> well, I destroyed him. $3,600. Dollar, dollar, shock, dollar. Dollar, dollar bill, man. Revenge. You better hope he don't explode. I hope he explodes. <laughs> I mean, oh, hyper! You, you cheeky little muskrat. You probably take. You cheeky little muskrat. You probably take it, I'm sure. But you dang right, I'm a my champ. I can take anything, dude. What do you think I'm a champ in the in the show? You know, it, I felt like his uh, color palette was a little weird. Yeah, he's a little dark. I think. Um, yeah, because I thought this. You know, he's a little grayer. Yeah, and that he was. He like, looked like a Machoke's color. They yeah, had like, like a like Machoke dark, color. Dark bluish color. Yeah. I thought the Machamp looked kind of the f most fake design of all of them. I think the uh, rest of them I agree. looked really good, but yep, I felt like I felt like they could have done better with the Machamp for sure. Yeah. Um. But uh, like, freaking Torterra's was amazing. What did you Pikachu think? Pikachu obviously was great. Mewtwo, dude. What did you think of the? Uh, there were a lot of Tricos I saw in the movie. Oh, dude, Trico was freaking gorgeous, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually, I was pretty, I mean, the only thing that kind of creeped me out design-wise is the A-palms were a little creepy looking. Yeah, 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 they were. Like, the, they the, were. the real smooth teeth thing is what kind of throws me off. I'm like, oh, god dang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It kind of reminds me of that, that little, uh, that little toy that has, like, the human teeth, you know what I mean? It looks like a little <laughs> teddy bear. Yeah. Um, that thing, uh, for sure. Yeah, they were what definitely, else, dude? they were definitely all terror. Greninja was really good looking. Yeah, he didn't. Um, Greninja didn't get that much screen time, unfortunately. Freaking! I wish Jigglypuff would have got a little bit more screen time too. The Jigglypuff was um, kind of odd looking to me too, but. Uh, the freaking Panchan. Pancham and Pangoro. And Pangoro. Both good. Like it. Awesome. I like them a lot. Um, Mr. Mime. Oh my god, that <laughs> yeah. was hilarious. That was um, something. Of course, uh, Ludicolo. Um, was really ah, good. Psyduck. The Growlithe and the Arcanine, the freaking Magikarp, and the Gyarados was really good. What did you think Charizard of the Charizard? Was awesome. Yeah, you like the awesome. Charizard? Char Gengar, dude, look creepy as hell, Yeah, dude. dude, that was another one of those where it's it's tough to depict that Pokemon in, in a realistic setting because when you see it in its animated form, it has what appears to be like real human-looking teeth, like a full mouth of teeth. But then when you see right. it in like real 3D rendered stuff and it's like like weird realistic looking teeth, it freaking throws me off, dude. I'm like, mm, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I see, but I sure don't like it. For such a youngin, you have an imposing battle style. I know, I know you got people who can dig up your potential. Here, take this. What a badge, huh? I wonder if Cool Trainer Gavin could tell us all the materials that are in that right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, all the different, uh, you know. So, this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Also, I have to, g I'll give you this TM. Well, I was, that was the plan, but I just remembered there's something I want. Wait. In front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would you? Oh, alright, so we're gonna go quickly run up there, because we have a little bit of time. And that would be a new encounter. Oh my gosh. I bet you Cool Trainer ago. Gavin could tell us every single mineral that's in this. Maybe. If there's even minerals to claim in there i guess well, i don't know you remember he said that he was doing a he was gonna make a video that he was gonna like say what was in the earth or whatever in the underneath the ground of every region gotcha because i watch a lot of his pallet university stuff i see 
We only have three Pokemon. If we can hurry, we might have a chance. Yeah. Wait, how, Let's what, see. how much time do we have? We have five more minutes. Five more minutes. Well, there's going to be some dialogue. Oh, yep. I just got stopped. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, who is it? It's Bianca. Isn't that you? Oh, no, 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 no. That's you, because I was sharing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, hold, hold up. up. Hey, Phantom DJ Spandau! Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's Driftville's gym match. Oh, that's totally cool. That's amazing. No, no, no. I can't get distracted being all impressed with your shiny new badge. I'm also a trainer. At times like this, you battle, right? Well, we're not oh, getting an encounter god. this episode. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, man. I should have put on or... the uh, Snapchat filter. Make me look like a girl and talk like this. <laughs> she has a Deoxys. <gasps> Whoa, she comes rolling out with the big guns. Look at this Look at this battle right now, Mike. Deoxys versus Mew. What you got? What you got? Deoxys versus Mew. Good, good luck, friend. Oh, he has knockoff. <gasps> Owie! He knocked off my scope lens. You know that's gone forever now? No, it's not. I'm just kidding. I just one-tapped him with Shadow Claw. <laughs> doesn't actually surprise me. A golem. Golem. Golem and um and um. Petalil. Did they ever finish Phoenix Rising? Uh, no. I I don't think that's even close to finish. But they did have that that first actual demo that was really good. Oh, he lived a gear grind, and I avoided a rock throw. That's how we do. I ha oh, are you done? No. He's hyper. She just hyper potion, dude. I had to fight a Deoxys first. Bat first Pokemon, so yeah. Oh, okay, you're excused. You're excused. You suck, but you're excused. <laughs> Gosh, she keeps hyper potioning. There we go. I got a crit finally. Drop that stupid golem. Galler hit level 34. I have got to figure out a way how to or, uh, farm for Sinnoh Stones, man, on Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah? I have battled 30 times and probably get, like, one. I've got two or three of them saved up right now. Yeah. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, I'm battling a Skarmory now. A Skarmory? One-shot it. Slack off. I'll stay in plugs. I'll stay in with plugs. Low kick. Ooh, we living. All right. Well, that should be the end of it, dude. She had a pretty fire team. Not gonna lie. I haven't had a. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Phantom. You've become totally strong. I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way tuned in to how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know, I have to share this with you. Hey, Jim, too. Fly, baby. Fly, boy. My papa gave it to me after he tried to take me home that time. I'm sure it's so I can come home anytime he wants, though. Oh, hey, I have to share this with Sharon, too. See you, Phantom. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You freaking joke. Yeah, freaking right. fool you. Route six. We've already Swerve. got that encounter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a. Oh, I ran into a random encounter right there. Or random battle. I'll be dang. Well, I'll be the. I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> I'm gonna put out a. What do you think of Cubone in that in that movie? I loved it. I thought Cubone was perfect, perfectly depicted. I would be down. I would totally be down if they could figure out a way how to make make it cost affordable, 
And I would definitely watch a live action Pokemon series. Oh yeah, for sure. I wonder if there's a way to get a hold of their um their textures for the Pokemon. Oof. Doubt it. That's pretty pretty big stuff there. Yeah, they usually don't just hand that stuff out, you know. I know. We'd have to break into, you know, Paramount and steal it. You'd have you know? to steal it. But I'm I'm good with that. <laughs> I've made my peace with it, so. This is the right way to go, right? Yeah. And I ran into a trainer. We definitely will not be able to get the encounter in this episode. Oh, he's got a Venusaur. Hello. I once had a Venusaur. Did you now? So I was gonna I was gonna tell you this. What up? Um so Teespring, right? Yeah. Has coffee mugs. Uh, I know. And I was gonna put some of our, like, what if we made some of our Soul Link logos as the coffee mug cups? Yeah, make like Soul Link merch. Yeah. I feel you. Like coffee, I wouldn't do T-shirts because T-shirts don't really sell that well. But I mean, coffee mugs. I would use a T-shirt more than a coffee mug personally, but. Well, I know you would. Oh, it's a Spinda. I was really hoping Spinda would be on that. This I didn't see one. This episode just got way more exciting. Because we got my boy out here. Who's going to get low kicked by my Electabuzz and eat it up like the monster he is. Dang. Oh my goodness, dude. How far away is this thing? Dude, Ooh. Spinda out here surprising me, man. Samurott on screen. Should be no surprise. Spin is a god. Spin is a god. You know what? I will say this. My freaking Egglock. Dude, DJ spin the carry, ran. bro. Spin the carry. Not gonna lie. He dang sure did. Oh, did these count as a static Pokemon? Uh, what is, oh, the, the... Wow, and it's not randomized. Ah, eh, then I wouldn't. <laughs> huh. Who wants a fungus on purpose? I mean, Amoongus is oh, really good. Amoongus is now on my battle screen. Look at that. What are the odds? What are the odds? A Lapras. Hello. These trainers are out here with some power Pokemon against me now. Right what now. are the real odds that it's not? Okay. Ooh, he lived it. He lived it. And we outsped. Another Kakuna. What's with these Kakunas out here? You know, I don't know. <laughs> that's two Kakunas in one episode. That's too many to... Yeah, we're not going to even make it to the cave in this episode. Um, you know what? I You know what else I didn't notice in that? What in uh, the movie? What up? All the other Eeveelutions. Eevee looked really good, and so did Flareon, but, I, you know, I was really hoping at least Vaporeon and uh, Jolteon would have showed up. Yeah, like the main trio. Right. I mean, I'd have been ecstatic for an Umbreon. Oh, would you now? They, I, and but they did have Gen uh, Gen Seven Pokemon. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thought the Moral were really nice looking. So, uh, who was it that they had? Damn it, they had uh, Coffiny, right? The little the, oh, Com yeah, the Com Hawaiian head. Yeah. Yes. That they... was the only one though I seen though. I think. Well, I just said Moral was in it. Who was that? Morlil's the little glowing mushroom Pokemon that was in the That's Bulbasaur right, scene. that's right, that's right. Morlil yep. evolves into Shionic, and Shionic How is the actually hell? a pretty good Pokemon. How the hell is this hippo faster than, than me? <laughs> um, I made it to the research lab, if that if you think that's a, a fair stopping where's, point for the Phantom Michael. Where's that? What do you mean? Is that... That's, um, that's like the Deerling Research. Dude, do we get a free Pokemon here? I don't know. Oh, we don't. He's show me what Deerling looks like now. Ah, oh, shoot. That'd have been cool. Yeah, I thought... For some reason, I, in my head, I was thinking, like, they, they give you a Deerling here. As like the gimmick Pokemon of this game or whatever, you know. But that is not the case, my friend. Nope. Yep. I found a max potion. Solid. Um, yeah, so I made it to that research center, that research lab. That's that first 
That's that little first place, right? Yeah, that first little house there. Okay. Where the Perfect. scientists are all hanging out. All right. Then we're going to close it off here. All right, you guys. Well, we got as far as we could get. Um, but yeah, so be sure to smash that like button. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out DJ Spinda's channel if you want to see episode 18 or even episode 16 if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.